I'm Robin Horstall, speaking for the Northern Ireland Veterans Movement. Veterans Minister Johnny Mercer has resigned in protest. In his written statement, he highlighted the continuing injustices against Northern Ireland veterans and his frustration regarding the political process that allows the injustice to continue and the failure of our government to act. For five years now, we've been protesting about the abuse of British veterans who served in Northern Ireland. There's nothing different in a fair and reasonable world between soldiers who face death in Iraq and Afghanistan and soldiers who face death in Northern Ireland. Why do the government come out and say what they say, that they're going to support us, that they're going to represent us, that they're going to stop vexatious prosecutions and then turn around and do nothing? They do it because they need the veterans vote. There are 3 million ex-servicemen and women in the United Kingdom today. That's 3 million adult votes. And that's where our power lies. That's where our leverage lies. But we're not going to be fooled a second time. Boris Johnson came out very strongly and said last time, before the general election, that he would stop the vexatious prosecution of soldiers. Well, he failed and he hasn't done it so far. We're not going to be fooled at the next election. At the next election, Boris, if you don't get it right this time, three million of us are going to turn our back on you. Now, I'm not going to tell people who and they should, shouldn't vote for, but I'll tell you what, I'm not going to vote for somebody who doesn't back the troops, who doesn't back the serving troops and the troops who served and risked their lives for this country in the past. We prevented a civil war in Ireland. We saved hundreds of thousands of lives. We're not talking about a few bad apples here. The soldiers who are being repeatedly investigated are be, had, were investigated at the time. They were cleared of all wrongdoing by the police and by the courts of Northern Ireland. It's no good 50 years later turning around and saying, oh, well, we've got some new and compelling evidence because they don't have new and compelling evidence. This is a political process. And the soldiers that are being investigated today are political prisoners. We've got to put a stop to it. We've got to continue to beat our drums. We've got to continue to write our letters because we're fighting for the right people, for the right reasons. We're fighting for decency and honour and justice. If you want to follow us, if you want to support us, then follow the links below. Justice for Northern Ireland. Remember, justice for Northern Ireland veterans. That's what we're about. Stopping this travesty. Stopping this injustice, stopping it now before it affects the soldiers of the future. Thank you.